Hey guys, it's Magical Mary. So today is my one day off, and I figured that you could come with me on all of my errands today. So I have some places I need to go, and I figured it would make a good vlog. So we're gonna go run some errands. So I know I've been absent for a little bit, um, and the reason for that is just I've been a little bit stressed out lately, and I've been dealing with some decisions that I need to make, but nothing too crazy. Just one of those weeks, you know? So we are going to be making a trip to Spirit Halloween today because I need to get some things for my Halloween costume. But first, we need some coffee. So we're gonna go get some coffee first. Okay, we're at Starbucks and best friend's car is here, so she's working today. I'm actually really, really excited that it's fall again and in Texas that means fall. We don't really get it. But that means pumpkin spice lattes which is basic, but they're so good. See? It's fall again. And there's my friend. Look at best friend. Looking so cute and working so hard. I got my pumpkin spice latte and I'm a happy girl all right so now that I've got my coffee the main trip of the day is we are going to spirit Halloween since I need to work on my Halloween costume so away we go so this year's Halloween costume I am going to be a witch this year just a regular old witch but I'm gonna kinda build her up. I have a dress that I found earlier this year. It's this really, really nice, just black crushed velvet dress, and it is absolutely perfect for building up a witch costume from it. So I need to go find a few things from Spirit Halloween, hopefully that they will have what I need. So one of my ideas for this year for Halloween is to actually put together a Halloween lookbook and uh, put together a few costumes in one video to give you guys kind of some inspiration for Halloween and I'll put it up like sometime in October. So I am hoping that traffic will be somewhat forgiving given this is about a month after Hurricane Harvey has occurred now and um, I saw some news about part of the highway being shut down, so hopefully we can get there okay. If not, we'll figure something out. Also, I am really digging my new hair color. I don't know about y'all. It's a little bit darker than what I usually dye my hair, but I'm pretty impressed. But for those of you who are curious, when I dyed my hair this last time, I used the Arctic Fox hair dye, and I'm really impressed with how it came out. I have retouched my roots once since I dyed it initially, which was on, it was the day before my birthday, September 1st. It is now September 24th, and my hair is still this red, and I, I'm so freaking impressed. I used the shade Poison, which is the reddest shade. It is like bright, bright scarlet red. And to tone it down just a little bit and to give it more of a deeper feel to it, I used just a tiny, tiny bit of the color Purple Rain, which is a very true royal purple. Um, who knows, maybe someday I'll get the gall to dye my hair crazy colors. I'd like to. For now, I will stick with my wigs. I don't have the confidence enough for that yet. Red is my color. But I'm, I'm pretty 
damn impressed, I have to say. For having this hair for nearly an entire month and to only have like just a little bit of fading to more a more natural orange on my ends. And I expected these to fade a bit because I curl my hair every great once in a while. Um, and my ends are very dead, so they're not gonna take color as well as the rest of my hair. So, what I'm going after at Spirit Halloween, what I'm looking for a really good witch's hat and some stockings. And those are the main two things. Everything else I probably have. Oh my goodness, it's raining so hard. and it's raining so hard only in like one area right now because the clouds are pretty sparse but it's raining so hard and the sun is shining so bright right now that there's literally a rainbow in front of me on the road I tell you though Houstonians as soon as a drop of water falls from the sky everybody forgets how to drive everybody drives me crazy. We're almost there. Almost there. Don't mind me. When I think of a certain lyric of a song or if I hear somebody say something that reminds me of any Disney song, I have to break out in a song. Drives my boyfriend crazy. But we are almost there. It's like just up that way. Sorry I didn't film very much while I was in Spirit Halloween. It was incredibly loud and my hands were kind of full. So I bought what I needed. I found what I needed. A little bit more than I wanted to pay, but you know, Spirit Halloween and Party City, they're usually, they usually add up pretty quick. So um, this year I said I was gonna be a witch. So I was able to find just a plain witch's hat with the buckle on it, not, incredibly fancy. It does have a wire in the brim though so I can shape it how I want and I do have some material at home that I can kind of fix this up a little bit better um, and add a little bit of my own flair to it. Um, I also found um, just some purple and black tights. I've been looking for some of these um, and they're the same. I looked them up online before I even came to Party City today. Um, and these are like the same price they would be if I ordered them from Amazon and I can get these like right now instead of having to wait and ship, uh, have them shipped to me. Um, another thing that I got is I got a purple velvet cape and on the model it only goes to her ankles but I'm so short it goes all the way down to the floor. So there we go, there's that. Um, I really just wanted a purple and black vibe to this witch and the last thing I got is a string of skulls to wear around my waist. All of my victims. Love, I love my little skulls. Um, and also, I can always just hang these up in my room whenever I'm not using them for Halloween. So there's all that. Nothing too special. Um, just a couple of things to amp up the costume a little bit. 
Um, so that pretty much does that. Um, like I said, I have some material I can kind of fix up the hat myself at home. Okay, so our next stop is going to be um, Ulta because I got a coupon for a birthday gift from them and I have not made my way over there yet. So we're going to Ulta next. Let me get my keys. And let's get on our way. So we are at Ulta now. And I'm just gonna take a quick look around here before I actually go get my birthday palette. Plus my phone's in my bag. And there's nothing here that I really absolutely need. Well, the policy is in favor of the customer and you have to help the customer. So help me get something for you. Okay, this lady over there, she's being really rude to the, to the worker. Okay, this is what I usually look at. <sighs> Two faced. <laughs> Now I do have the um, the Natural Love palette, the really big one that came out earlier this year. But one that I've always, always wanted is that Sweet Peach, the, the Sweet Peach palette. <laughs> it's so pretty, and I want it so bad. Yeah, she needs to be helped, all right. That poor lady. So I know the lighting is awful, but I just got out of Ulta. It's right in front of me still. And I got my birthday palette. It's just a NYX birthday palette. It retails at $18, I think they said in the email. So let's open this thing up. Sorry, there's like tape on it. It's difficult to get off. But there's a lady in there. Oh, Jesus. Drama. I, I guess that she had like a $30 credit or something like that. And she was being so... Oh, there's people next to me. But she was being incredibly rude to the worker there and demanding that she help her find something worth the same amount. Okay, so I opened the palette just now and it looks like there's a few good shades. It comes with a very large size mirror and then um, the actual um, colors in the palette. Oh, you can see you. Hello. Um, these are all the colors in the palette. Um, you get you get 10 shades, um, and they're all pretty nice looking. There are one, two, three, looks like four, no, like, yeah, four matte shades. The rest are shimmers, so this is just a nice little birthday gift. I'm going to open this back up and put the protector back on. Okay, so next I just need to do some grocery shopping, and then we'll go home. Okay. So, I'm back at home, and I'm going to work on my witch's hat. This is what it looks like. Um, it's not bad. It's just a velvet plain witch's hat. Um, and I'm going to add just a little bit of flair to it. Nothing fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that now. But here is the basis for my costume. I have um, most of the elements I bought previously. The only new things I've added are the hat, the cape, the skulls, and the stockings. Everything else that you see on my person, I've already had. Um, I may add a few more elements, but this is pretty much the basis. So I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know what you guys are gonna be for Halloween. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a magical day.